Even though it was created in the late 1970s, Emacs is still one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, text editors around. That said, if you're used to modern text editors, it can be a little tough to get into. That's where Doom Emacs comes in. It's a shortcut to get you up and running with a full featured Emacs installation that's already configured to handle pretty much anything you can throw at it. It's also super easy to install. Doom Emacs isn't its own program. It's just a configuration for Emacs that installs on top of Emacs. So the first thing you'll need is Emacs installed. You'll also need Git and a tool known as RipGrip. We'll install those all before we move on to Doom Emacs. Now we're doing this on Ubuntu, but keep in mind if you're on another system, the only thing that's really gonna change is the package manager you use, and the packages might have some slightly different names. Open up a terminal and type sudo followed by apt install emacs.gtk and ripgrep. Then follow the prompts to continue. If you're on an Arch-based distro, use Pac-Man instead. If you're on a Fedora type distro, use DNF. Now we'll install git on Ubuntu, that's sudo apt install git. Now it's time to actually install Doom Emacs using git. Honestly, the easiest way to do that is just search for Doom Emacs, go to the GitHub page and follow the instructions there because then you can just copy the terminal commands and paste them in your terminal. That said, we're still gonna go over them. To do it manually, type git clone dash dash depth one and the address https colon slash slash github.com slash h-l-i-s-s-n-e-r slash doom dash emacs space tilde slash dot emacs dot d. When it's done, type slash home slash dollar sign user in all caps slash dot emacs dot d slash bin slash doom space install to run the installer. Now it's time to just wait for everything to install. This could take a while depending on your internet speed and the speed of your computer, so feel free to just walk away from your computer for a while and let it install. Now Doom Emacs is installed, but we're not finished just yet. Mainly, we need to add the Doom Emacs binaries to your path. Open the .profile file in your home directory in the text editor of your choice. Now add the line export path equals dollar sign path colon dollar sign home slash dot emacs dot d slash doom slash bin. Now close your terminal and reopen it. Now it's beyond the scope of this video to show you how to use Doom Emacs, but we'll show you how to get running. As I mentioned before, Doom Emacs isn't a specific program, so just run Emacs. If you ran Emacs before you installed Doom Emacs, you'll notice that everything looks different, and frankly, it looks a lot cooler. One of the best things about Doom Emacs is its built-in help system. This means you can basically learn how to use the program by using the program. It takes some getting used to, but that's true with any powerful tool. And there you go. This is a little complicated, so if you're looking for more information or you have some questions, head over to the companion article at maketecheasier.com. We'll put a link down in the description. And be sure to let us know if you want us to do some more videos on Doom Emacs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.